Oh, hello. We've got a freaky power station. And you, oh, you can get a look across the fields. Oh, and we start to see it all. Welcome back, guys. Uh, a couple of days ago, somebody left me a comment and they said, Sky, come on, where are the big projects? Where are the big ideas? That's what we love. That's what we love you doing. And, um, and I was like, oh, God, I, like, hmm, I haven't really got any like huge ideas. Uh, and then I was like, oh, hang on a second. I had one which I, I mentioned in a previous episode of Transport Fever, like, I don't know, two, two three episodes ago. And that was the power station. And that's what we're going to do. Now, let me show you something. This is, oh, right, that's going to Ashton Exchange. This one will be going to Tewkesbury. Yeah, we need an Ashton, Ex Ashton Exchange. I hope, I, God, I hope you're going to freaking love this idea. So let's, uh, let's jump on board. And uh, so I'm going to speed it up till we get into the tunnel. Now, what I want to show you is on the other side of this tunnel. So we'll get into the tunnel, almost, and then I'm going to slow it to normal speed. Now, it's this view that's coming up right about now. Can you see them? The cooling towers. And, wait, we're not done. The other cooling towers. Now, that one's raised up. They'll actually all be the same height. But I want this arrangement of the four. But they're not in a line, right? As you'll see as we get closer. And this, I, I've spent so much time planning the alignment of these towers. So you get these really, really interesting views with, like, as you come around here, these two towers coming together and gaps forming. And you... It's like almost like optical illusions as you as you're traveling along this line. And the thing is, not just this line. Oh no. But that's that's just the beginning, right? That's just the beginning. Because um, if we come down to the boats, right, uh, and we pick a boat like this one and jump on board. Then again, I love this view in the distance. The, when they're in the distance, they're just insanely beautiful. Let's speed this up. So, yeah, as you come down, you get closer. I, I love the fact that it looks like they're in a line. Even though they're not. So you've got, you've got that view, you've got that view. Now, the other thing that I want to do... Um, the, now, it's not, just, it's not just these four towers. No, 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 no. We're putting in, like, a whole freaking power station. And I've been inspired by um, pictures that I've seen. I'm, I, I might even put some up like, while, while we're working and whatever. Um, I've been inspired by this design. This is an actual real world, world design where you've got two cooling towers on this end, two cooling towers on this end, and then stuff going on in between. One of the things that's going to be going on, right, is a train station. Because this is going to be, even though there will be some buildings which, which look a bit like um, nuclear reactors, um, this is going to be uh, primarily coal-powered or, or oil-powered or something. It's actually going to be a mixture of coal, oil, and nuclear, apparently. So what I wanted to do was have trains and trucks and whatever coming in and out of here. So we're going to have a train station, which is probably going to be coming in like here. Now, I don't know whether it's going to be right in the middle or it's just going to be on the outside or whatever, but the trains are going to be coming from this. Now, I, And then I started looking at this, and I was like, you know what? Man... I need to develop this. I mean, apart from I need to upgrade the tracks to high speed. Um, I need to start putting in buildings around this and developing the road network and dressing it up. Doing something more like, um, where is it? I can't find it now. Doing something more like, oh, doing something more like this, right? Where we've got some, some nice buildings going on and there's trucks coming in and out and stuff like that. So, so I'm thinking, yeah, I need to extend extend the harbours a bit and um, have some buildings down here and maybe some more tracks and stuff. And then I was thinking about putting in a train yard and all kinds of stuff. But this is what I, this is what I wanted to show you. So, you imagine we start. Let's say that let's say the trains are coming in. Say we'll say we'll put some extra platforms in here, right? Um, so 
the, the, the train pulls out here. Or maybe, maybe we use these tracks, or maybe I just extend this to an eight track or whatever. But anyway, they're going to be coming up probably parallel to this, right? So here we are, chugging along. And then the, the tracks will fork off, fork off, thank you. And then as you come round the corner, the towers will come into view. And again, you've got this thing of the four towers in a line. And then have the train coming in like this. I zoom out so I can move a bit faster. Coming in and then again, the optical illusion of these towers getting closer together and the gap in the middle spacing out. And then have the train curved, like curving in all the time. So it's a weird illusion. And then the train will come into probably like here or something. Okay, so that is the idea for that. And then obviously you've got the, the reverse view of them coming from this direction. Um, but I think I'm gonna lower this terrain so that, so that these, I want these tracks to come out flat, right? And then drop this terrain down a bit and probably drop this whole thing down just a little so that when you're coming through, right? I, I wanna be able to see maybe half the tower. Um, and this rising up to here causes uh, this track to be like really steep. This is like maximum steepness going down here, even with like bending the track round and whatever. And like I said, I'd like the track coming more across here so we get that better view. So it would come this side of this, um, this iron, um, iron, what is it, iron mine? Yeah, iron mine. Um, and, then, and then probably come, I don't know, up here something like that so that's the plan but we want to be able to like when we when we're down here we want to be able to see like probably about like at, le at least the tops of them so like maybe a third half of the of the towers as as we're catching the trains up here right. that is the plan that is the idea right so the question now is can I actually make this a reality do you want to see right <laughs> let's switch to the time lapse and get on with it and off we go. So the uh, the first thing I had to do was just mark the positions of the towers, so that because because they kind of do need to be in pretty much those places. Now I was going to flatten this terrain off using a nice big airport. I thought this will be easy. This will take me like no time at all. Just banging it, banging it at airport, delete it, maybe place it two or three times to to flatten the area. <laughs> The, the flight path meant that I'd have to like demolish half a mountain. And then I thought, well, I'll try it. I'll try one of the big stations. That didn't work. So then I thought, you know what? I'll go back to my old faithful and I'll do it with roads, which, um, which takes a bit longer, but enables you to, to flatten an area really reliably. So that's what I went for. Now this creating a nice, big flat area is one thing blending that area into the surrounding terrain that's where it gets difficult and I've actually edited this down because this took a fair amount of time to get the terrain around the build area to kind of blend in naturally so here I am just um, throwing some roads in flatten it off chip, 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 chip. Same on the other side. Eventually. Okay, so this gives me my my flat area, and uh, once that's all smoothed off, then then it's a case of focusing on the terrain on the outside and blending that terrain in. And you can see I've like. I've Put out chunks of this because <laughs> doing the terrain I mean I like doing the terrain I like smoothing it all around I, I wish we've got bigger brushes to use but other than that now the thing is yeah, this is this is this is the stuff that takes the time and I, I cut a lot of this out but getting that surrounding area to blend in so that it doesn't look like you've just like flattened a big chunk that's what's gonna, gonna take time. I mean, I, I got it looking not too bad, but it's gonna require more work afterwards. 
So, rip all the roads out. I left a couple of um, placeholders in in case I just needed to flatten anything. I, I, I didn't actually, but it was worth doing. And then we can put the towers back in on their nice flat base. Now I actually moved them slightly wider apart than, than I had them originally. And I, I went around and, um, and checked the views to make sure that it still looked good. I love it when you, when you turn them on and the smoke rises. It's awesome. And I actually like the view slightly better with the new placement. So, that's our, that's our towers in place. Now, it's time to kind of define the area around it. Uh, I still had, uh, had a few bits to kind of flatten off and whatever, because I needed to, because I, because I moved them out a little bit, I needed a, a slightly bigger area to work with. And then it was a case of put the railway line in because I wanted to make sure that I got this line running in the right direction to get the views that I wanted and to see what the terrain was like and as you can see that the terrain is far from level and I ended up putting a little tunnel in now I, I actually didn't I did that by accident uh, but when I actually spotted it, which wasn't until much later, I thought, actually, that looks good. And you get kind of a surprise when you come out of the tunnel and boom, there it is. You kind of get a, a tease beforehand and then, you get in the, and then you go into the tunnel, you come out of the tunnel and there it is. Now, I actually decided to change the orientation of the station because I couldn't get like a nice run into the station. So I decided to swap the station around 90 degrees and I thought about putting it like inside the station and whatever, but I decided to go with this spot here. And I, I hope you'll agree that it kind of worked out. Now I was trying to figure out how exactly I was going to place these buildings, like when was I going to have multiples and was I going to like extend it out at each end or whatever. But I went with a three. And I think you'll see now that the track just kind of goes much, much nicer. It's a much, much better view coming in. Now these are the buildings that I've got to work with, or these are the buildings that are part of the, 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 the power plant set. And there's like, uh, there's like eight, 10 buildings. Uh, well, there's 10 buildings and then there's a few bits of pipe, which, um, which, which I, I didn't end up using yet. Because as you will see, when, uh, when we get to the end of this, it's not done. It's, um, we've got, we, we'll have the build, well, you know what, you'll see. When we get to the end, you'll see. But, yeah, there's still a fair amount of work to do. Now, these are the, uh, the reactor houses and they're nice because they look enough like nuclear reactors to use them for nuclear reactors, but they don't stand, like they don't stick out so much that they couldn't be something else. Now, I hadn't pre-planned it. I mean, other than figuring out the placement of the towers, the, the main cooling towers, and looking at a whole bunch of, I, I researched a, a whole bunch of power stations, um, looking at the, the layouts and, um, and whatever. Other than that, this is completely off the cuff. This is me just like throwing some stuff in and see what works. So it's all developing kind of very organically. And like, I, I didn't, even, the, the reactors, I didn't think the reactors were gonna go there. Like, I, I never intended for them to go there. I was actually gonna put the four in a row, and then, uh, but that's, you know, that's what happens, and, and that's kind of the fun of building, um, or like the, the way I like to do it, which is just kind of like, throw some stuff in and see what happens, you know? Just, just go with the flow. And sometimes it doesn't work, and sometimes 
Sometimes it works really nicely. So here, like this was this was like like too much of a rectangle. So I decided I wanted to like have a more unusual kind of shape because um, because you know these kind of sites are not like perfect squares and rectangles and stuff. And I wanted to get the the road layout kind of defined first or or at least the, the outer perimeter and some of the main roads around it and then you know step by step kind of link them together and again try and make it organic and try and make it I was always trying to think well okay so where would the road go where would people want to drive from here you know so now I, I'm again I'm trying to make the terrain kind of nice and natural. So I've, I've kind of, I put the road in first and then I made the terrain, raised the terrain up um, next to the road to make it look like the road had kind of followed around the terrain. And it ended up, it ended up looking kind of nice. Now, because I've only got like 10 buildings, um, I decided I need to start making some like composite buildings. Oh man, ah. Oh. I, I, I edited this out because I actually spent about 10 minutes trying to get these roads to go in the way that I wanted them to. And I, I ended up just going with that, which I guess looks okay. So yeah, um, it's a case of like gluing these buildings together to, to come up with things which are like a little bit unique and a little bit different. And, and actually, with the, the combination of buildings that you've got, you can actually come up with like loads and loads and loads of different permutations. And I wanted to do like try and make the roads interesting and just try, just try and do different things, like things that I haven't done before. So now I'm just like, like literally just like playing around with stuff and seeing what, what I can put where and how I can use the same building but like a different orientation or sync it more into another building so it looks different or use a different face of the building to the front so like it's blank or a side that's got windows or something like that. And these, um, these little buildings with the chimneys, right, they're like on their own they look like kind of small and kind of strange but you glue some other buildings to them and suddenly it all starts to look like a, like a proper complex. Now here, I, this was the most difficult one. Um, putting these two, the first two together, no problem. This one, I couldn't, I just couldn't see where the freaking walls were. As soon as I moved it over, it just went black. And I just got, so, it took me a few goes to work out, and I got it, there we go. And that ends up looking like a nice big building. That worked really well, actually. So again, just um, continuing to work on the, on the road network, and um, just, just evolve it. Just evolve it kind of naturally. It's like, well, okay, I've got those buildings there, so, you know, they're gonna to need to drive around them. Now, I wanted some different buildings in. Uh, I didn't want it all to be just those solid white buildings. So, I found these nice little buildings, and but I was trying to figure out, like, how can I kind of like, expand them somehow? And I found this building. And I was using this and hiding, because it's got a chimney on it, and I was hiding that chimney inside the other chimneys to create like a, a white building linking them together. And then I ran out of ideas, so I thought I'd go and work on the, on the freight station for a bit. And uh, I was using my favorite warehouses. But I found another building, which again has got a couple of chimneys on it, but I buried those into the, into the warehouse.
that, that, that's, you can say that's little chimneys. I'm just burying them in. I love these buildings because I love I love running those little roads inside because they look so darn good. And then again, developing the road network. But you like you can see that even even though I had the original site and then I flattened some more outside that, I'm still extending and having to flatten and blend the terrain like going out even further and it may go it may go out a little bit further no but I don't know actually no that that might stay that might be the extent of it now actually because um, well you'll see you'll see I did some I did some decoration which um, I think, yeah, does it go all the way around that? I think it does go all the way around that. So if I, if that's the case, then yeah, that'll be as far as it'll go. I don't think I'll rework that. I thought this made a nice little centerpiece in that little island. So now I'm just adding like a few details to the buildings just to kind of make them a little bit more interesting. Add a little bit of colour in here and there. Now I hadn't used these buildings up to this point. There's um, there's two, and they're basically just rectangular buildings. And there's a there's an extra large one and a medium one. And I thought, you know what? Let's sling a bunch of them together and create like a like a big building, and then take the smaller one and use that to create like, like bits sticking out. And then I thought, well, what about if I stack a few of those together? How does that look? But you can kind of see it, it it's, it's very modular. And you can use them in so many different ways. Look at that, I mean, that looks like it's just like a building. Uh, now this was, a, I, I couldn't figure out what the hell I was gonna put I didn't want to put in any more warehouses. I wanted to come up with something different. So I was like, yeah, no, I can't think what to put there. So I moved over to this again. And this, end, this ended up working out really well. Again, you know, throwing some buildings in and then, you know, put some roads around it. See how it goes together. This, this was all a bit flat, so it needed a bit of height. So, one of those in, and then one of these on the end to give it, a, again, a different look. I hadn't combined those two buildings. Then I need to, this is the thing, you know, it's like you put in buildings and then you need to change the roads and then, you, you know, Having put a road in, you go, oh, well, I should have a building on the other side of that. And it just evolved step by step. I, it's, you know, it's fascinating what is, for me to watch this back, you know, while I'm doing the commentary and, and kind of see how it evolved. Because I absolutely had, like, when I, other than the four chimneys, I knew the four chimneys. Other than that, I had no idea what was going to be in the middle. So again, just adding a few bits and pieces to the buildings. Now, I don't class this real, well, I mean, I suppose it is detailing, but this isn't really the detailing. The, the detailing will come later. And that's when I'm gonna be adding in all kinds of bits and pieces, like the real detail. So now, obviously, you don't want people to be able to just like walk up to your great big cooling towers or your nuclear reactors. So we needed some fencing. So um, I fenced in the whole place with this, with this wonderful um, metal fencing. And then again, you know, trying to figure out what what other buildings could I put in that kind of, kind of fit in, but are kind of a bit different? And 
How can I glue them together to make kind of larger buildings? You can see me like just looking through the buildings, trying to find things. And then I found this, which I haven't used. I did use this in a, in another playthrough, and but I didn't use it like this. And I just glued a few together, matched up the skylights. That building looks really, really good. I was very pleased with the freight station once I put that in. And then these are actually, um, these are track assets. These are um, diesel fueling stations. But I thought, yeah, that kind of looks like the kind of stuff you'd have lying around. It just makes the buildings like a little bit more, a bit more real. Just fin finishing a bit more fencing. Although that is going to get ripped out in a second because I really, I, I started to think about, okay, what do you, what do you actually need in this place, right? Like, 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 if this is a real power station, what do we actually need? Uh, again, I'm still looking for buildings, looking for buildings, and then I, f I found these. Now the, the, the base height is like, I think 30. I just took them up to 40 meters just to introduce a little bit of height in. They're actually uh, gasometers. And then again, need a little road going up the side of those buildings. And then it's like, okay, what do I need? What do I need? Well, we're gonna need somewhere for the, for the trucks to come in. Oh, now this is oh, this is me painting it up, and this really starts to make a difference. I love this paint tool; it's one of the the best mods. Being able to just paint the ground, and there's so many different textures. I, I used I think three or four of the of the textures. I used um, a couple of the different concrete textures, and I think uh, uh, yeah, and two of the gravel textures. So now I'm like, okay, fine. So we need somewhere for the for the trucks to come in. So uh, so let's put in some some truck stations. Um, and this is when I found out that although I flattened all this and flattened it and tried to keep it as flat as possible, I've still got height difference. Look at this when when this when I put this in, eventually you'll see because I, I couldn't figure out what the hell was wrong. But there's um. When I actually put that in, you'll see at the end that I zoom into, there's, there's a real height difference. So, again, I edited it out, but I played around with that for a while, trying to figure out how I could get it in. And in the end, I decided to, uh, to change the orientation and put it in the other way, which, um, which actually worked okay. And again, I thought, you know, let's have, let's have two different ones. One, one with the sound barrier, fence like the, like the walls and one with the metal fencing and have them different widths and then it's like what else oh you know what they need parking don't they the workers have got to park somewhere now I've put parking in before um, and again I wanted to do something that was slightly different than than I'd done before um, and I ended up coming up with something that I was really happy with. Um, I got different entrances at each end. So one end, this end will curve round. I had to, I had to play around with this to, to get it to, to all fit. This proved to be quite difficult actually, because once I figured out those two ends, I, I figured, what about if putting a, a bit in the middle? Because it puts in like a zebra crossing type effect. Um, but it was too close to the to the other road, so I had to move it out a little bit. And look, look at that! I love that. It just kind of breaks it into two, and then one curved end, one straight end. It just makes it interesting. Now you'll you'll see here that I I lowered the terrain on either side of the train track. And that was very deliberate because I want the I want the train elevated above any any trees or bushes that I put between the railway and the road. And then here we're going to have a level crossing. I need to I need to get a, a, a an actual 
level crossing mod. There's a really nice one on the workshop, which um, I've got to find. And then I realized that the spacing wasn't right, so I had to switch the tracks over to the other platform. And I decided to upgrade it, or, or downgrade it, uh, to not have catenaries. I'm gonna use diesel trains on, uh, on this track. Because I just didn't want the catenary spoiling the view. We want to be able to, to really see it. I'm really pleased um, with elevating that track and that's something that I'm going to be doing probably a lot more on the map going forward. So now I'm starting to add in a bit of scenery for, uh, for the terrain. More fences, bushes, trees, all that kind of stuff. I was trying to get this freaking curve and the thing is you kind of need a straight bit first before you can do it. So when you're starting on a curve it's kind of difficult. So just working on the entrance to the freight station, putting in some kind of scruffy scrubland on either side of the track and then putting in a, a kind of well-defined hedgerow at the back so that there's a you know there's a there's a bit of scruffy ground and then there's a, a definite like hedgerow border to it Bang a few trees in there in the in the fenced off area I'm, I, I hope you're enjoying this as much as I am because I'm actually really enjoying watching this. So uh, yeah, so now hooking hooking the roads up to the outside world so that they can get around the place. A quick smooth off. Now this um, this area. I decided to paint this. Uh, oh no, I, I was putting trees in, and then I, yeah, that's right. And then I lowered the area so that the trees didn't cover um, it so much. So I kind of sunk that whole whole ground in, and then just tied it up around it. Um, I, but I'm going to do I'm going to do some painting, and what I wanted to do was figure out how to how to have kind of fields and hedgerows and whatever, but not have farmland, right? Because you wouldn't have like farmland immediately next to a, a great big power station like this. It would just be like regular fields and, and rough ground and whatever. Um, but I came up with um, what I think is a, is a decent solution for that. And that's gonna get used a lot on the rest of the map. Finishing off the fencing now on the other end of the of the site. I love that fencing. It's a great mod. Great mod that is. I just it really adds something to it. And then I thought. Okay, let's do something a bit different. So I'm using this is the part of the same mod. It's the it's the B BLS. Is it BLS? BLS mod, I think. Something like that. It begins with a B and it's three letters. Uh, and then I thought, you know what? Let's let's use that around the place to provide a a bit of a bit of a sharp edge to it, and then kind of blend the the natural forest and scrub into that. And it actually ended up looking not too bad. I was quite pleased with it. Now starting to throw a few trees into the actual base itself. A bit more concrete. A bit of gravel. Start, starting to look something, isn't it? It's getting there. It's getting there. But man, there is just like so much more to do. I'll talk about I'll talk about that at the end. All the uh, all the other stuff that I'm gonna do to it 
and there is a lot, there's still a lot, lot to do to it. There's probably as much work to do at, when I get to the, the end of this video as I've already done, um, if not more, because I'm going to get really finicky and fussy. Um, and and there's a, there's a what? Wait, wait till the end of the video. I'll tell you. I'll, I'll tell you all the things that need to get done. Right. So now I wanted to try and um, put those fields in and and see how I could blend this in to the terrain. So this is this is very much experimental. So I, I was trying to figure out how how this road is going to go out there. And um, I decided to run it around the outside of that. I don't know whether that's going to stay. I may end up running the running the road the other side of that industry. But we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. So here we go. So I'm I'm putting in my hedgerows along the road. So that gives me that gives me my edging. So then we start to blend these features into, into the map. And then it was like, okay, so how do I make this look like just, just a field? So there are there are three, I think three different green textures. The one I put in there is um, is actually it's it's a potato field, but but it just looks like a green field, but it's a different green. So rather than just having like one continuous massive green nothing, it's um, it's starting to define it into different areas uh, and just having them slightly different. So I'm blending in the big forest and then doing the same thing here. So, and again, it, the roads create the areas. That's why the road putting the road network in is so kind of important. And that there, there, there's another green. And then following the uh, the railway out. And this is when I, I realized that that bridge was there. Or sorry, that, that, that tunnel was there. And then I thought, you know what? I'm gonna have the field going over the top of that. So, because that'll create a really interesting shape. And I kept that dirt road. Now I can't add dirt roads. I can probably find a mod that will allow me to add them. Um, I need to find that. So after uh, about three hours research and about six hours building, this is what I ended up with. Whew, I, I'm exhausted after all that. Seriously, my fingers are aching. Ah, oh, my, ah. Oh. Seriously, I've been doing, uh, how long, I don't know. Uh, this has been like what f um, five five hours or so yeah about five hours something like that so uh, so yeah it's um, it's starting to get there I mean we've got the basic building in um, it, okay so what are we gonna do in the next episode we'll have a look at this before we go but what are we gonna do in the next episode um, I'll finish off the scenery surrounding it like all up, up to here but I've got to go away and do a lot of modifications to the terrain which is going to take a while it's going to be a bit boring so I'll do that offline um, in the next episode I'll finish off the scenery uh, like this around here uh, like I've, I've got to decide if I'm going to move this train track um, or and like how much and whatever I am thinking to to route it down here maybe I'm not sure I'm not sure um, yeah, I've, I've got to think about that. So yeah, we'll finish the scenery around the outside and then we'll get into some detail work because all we've got now is kind of like the, like the bare minimum. We need, um, we need all kinds of stuff. We need vehicles. We need, uh, we need goods and stuff lying around and, you know, piles of coal and stuff like that. Um, and, uh, then we need to get some life into it. We need to get the trains running into here. We need to get uh, trucks running around the place. Um, so yeah, that, that'll be part two. That'll be the next episode. 
Oh man, well, I hope you like it. Should we have a quick look at some of the, some of the views just very quickly? Go on, we'll have a very quick look. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know what, let's, let's actually turn it on. Oh yeah. I'm liking that, liking that. I'm definitely liking this view from, from the train as it, like, you'll kind of get a bit of it. Just, just the, the hint of the towers, the cooling towers, as you as you come in up here, and then it's hidden by the trees, and then you go through the tunnel, and as you come out the tunnel the other end, then it's going to be oh hello, we've got a freaking power station, and you oh you can get a look across the fields, see that, and then as we get like really close, oh and we start to see it all. Now. There, um, there is the chance that I might do a little bit of rework work because I, I, one thing I was looking at was maybe to run one of these tracks like either like down, well, I don't know, like somewhere into the complex. Uh, but I don't know about that. I don't know. I don't know whether that's feasible. I, 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 I doubt it. I doubt it, to be honest. Uh, and then the best one of all. Let's come up here. Where are we? Um, oh, there is. There's a train. Go on. We'll have a quick look. This would be this be a nice way to finish this episode. So we go through the tunnel, just an ordinary everyday ride on the train in the country. Oh, hello! Oh, I'm on the wrong freaking train. It's still cool though. <laughs> you can get that going around this way, but but that's not the good train. That's going to Chicksbury. We want an Ashton train, which will be the next one. Here we go, Ashton. Let's jump on the Ashton train, which goes straight on at the fork and gives us the freaking awesome views. Oh, what's that in the distance? Mom, Mom, what's that? That's a power station. It's a power station. Can you eat it? Can we have a puppy? Right. Oh man, that looks. Fr wow, I think that looks freaking awesome. I love it in the distance. Like to be honest, like the further away from it you are, the better it looks. I think the really good views are going to be like, like right at a distance, just seeing those towers, and right up close when you get right into it. I love the way that it kind of hides behind the city. And then I'll speed it up so that we, we get through the station quickly. Because I want to see it, what, what it looks like when we come out the other side. Come on people, get on. Here we go. And as we come out the other side of the town... Yeah. Yeah. Not bad. Love the, love the dirt on the top of the chimneys. Got to get rid of that freaking building. Oh, man. Oh, got to do this and finish off the terrain or, or decorating the, the scenery on the terrain and whatever. Oh, it's awesome. Oh, one thing I didn't show you is what it looks like for um, people flying into uh, West Ham Airport. And if you want to see that, because the planes come in. Where's the plane? Uh, do, do, do. Uh, oh, you you going in to land at West Ham? I think it probably is. Uh, yeah, he's going to land in West Ham. And you can see, as he comes in, he's going to get some freaking awesome views of this. If you want to see that, well, you'll have to come back for another episode because I'm not going to show you in this one. All right, guys, we will leave it there. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you for the next one. Peace out. Thank <laughs> you.